drop a beat. This is how. This is how. This, this is, is how it starts. starts. Y'all didn't know I have a DJ <laughs> name on the weekend. <laughs> drop a different beat. <laughs> All right, it is time for the Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Ooh, Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Funcast Blast. Thank you. Thank you. Today we won't chew into the mics this time. Is that a better one? <laughs> that was awesome. Whoop, 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 whoop. What's up, fanatics? Welcome to episode 116 of the Funko Funcast, the only official Funko podcast recorded at Funko HQ in Everett, Washington. This is your host, Sully. This is Hillary. It's Ashley from work. Come and join us for this vacation. I, the Rune Master, servant of Odin and the soldier of Thor, call upon the one of the sun to aid our army of collectors. I'm Dima. What's up, guys? Hello. Have not done this in a while. Little, little I know, resting. I feel like it's been years since I've seen Has it any been years? of you. Uh, episode 110, recorded almost two months ago, was the last time we were all together for a normal podcast. I feel like I've aged. Here we yeah. got three kids. We have absolutely we've three aged. Kids. We're all <laughs> wiser. Three? Yeah. Wow, what'd you name them? Um, Eeny, Meeny, Miney. <laughs> and, and Bobby. <laughs> and Moe's on the way. <laughs> Moe's on the way. <laughs> Eeny, Mommy, and Bobby. <laughs> Huey, Dewey, and Doc. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley wow. got new pugs. Start collecting Ooh. snakes. Can you tell us about your snake? Yeah, tell collection? us. No, I don't snakes. have snakes. Cockroaches. I feel like a snake would uh, eat Ferg. He's how, a tiny little guy. You will not fight. Oh, he'd fight, but what eventually. If, he'd fight a tapeworm. Okay, what if the snake became best friends with him and Ferg just wore him as a boa? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. Just running around like Britney <laughs> Spears. He just like walks around. And he's like, check out my friend, and it, it's like a little <laughs> one too. Yeah. Hillary he gets now, food and feeds it to the snake. Yeah. Hillary and I were in the airport, and there was somebody transforming, uh, transporting a kitten in one of those backpacks uh, with a little window in it. Okay. <gasps> it was very. I good. thought about buying one of those very for Fergus, good. but yeah, you should do it. Bean would be fine in there too. We saw one of those at E3, and it looked like that poor cat was just like sweating. Suffocated. Yeah, that's actually. Yeah, is it very ventilated? No, not at it all. Didn't look like Cameron it. and I saw a hairless cat in one at SDCC baking in the sun, <gasps> and it was like it looked like there was condensation on the oh, inside. Oh, of no. the, yeah, and it's like thigh was just slapped up against Ooh. the. No. Ugh. Can we like get a, a big tender. one? Yeah. Can Sally carry me around in one of those backpacks? Oh, and man. I'll tell you if I'm hot or not. And squat. Carry yeah. you around? Yeah. I don't know. Do maybe, one, maybe Ashley. Yeah. I'm only 180. Well, 190 right now. That, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's quite a bit, sir. I don't, know. I don't know if a backpack could support that. Of course it can. Reinforced backpack? <sighs> I think you'd probably rather have me in there than you. But. Oh. Important announcement. I'm just saying there's a weight difference. <laughs> a new way to say <laughs> moving on. Important announcement. <laughs> Important announcement. If this is your first time listening, we record weekly to bring you the latest reveals, listener questions, hints, bad dad jokes, pop culture discussions, and our own original games. Yes, I have an original game this week for you guys. Straight mark. Tra- yeah, TM. It might as well be at this point. Did Aaron uh, come up with it? And a giveaway. I think uh, she comes no, up with great games. But I do she need does. to circle back with her because she did a wonderful job with she, that hot sauce yeah, one we did. Yeah, she needs to come on and host it, I feel It makes like. me want to try all idea. the hot sauces. Like, I was mm. really hoping when she had all those, like, pieces of paper that she handed to you, I thought there were going to be, like, little mini hot sauce packets in there that we could taste. You know, enough oh. time has passed at this point, we would have all forgotten what was or was not mm-hmm. a hot sauce, yeah. and we could try that. She could have a little dome over my little cover, and then if you get it wrong, she lifts it, and you have to eat. Oh, no. Oh, oh so I would no. love that. Nope. Nope. Mm-hmm. Tap and out. I would nope. do that without losing. I would want to try them all. Yeah. Let's yeah, go to Starbucks. This. And I don't then need we to all sweat. There's no yep. ending, no sign off. We're all just running to the bathroom. Hot yeah. food <laughs> makes me sweat. Just if you just take a little dab on a saltine cracker, it's delightful. Little dab will do you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get to taste the do flavor. I get money? There could, there could be a cash prize. I do this for fun. <laughs> <laughs> bring your own cash. <laughs> you put the goggles you on. You bring your own cash. <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to play a little Funko Bingo while you listen along, there's no prize associated with it, but you can practice because we may or may not have a live podcast coming up uh, at some point you in the near say. future. Wow. May or may not. Oh. I, I can. I have to express that. Uh, you can play. Just get your bingo card at ithinkpixels.com slash bingo or look at any of the, well, not any of the recent, but uh, go through a few of the recent and you might find a link to a bingo card. I take it out of there on the getting to know because oh. it doesn't make sense. Right, that's yeah. It doesn't jive. You know, yeah. We need a separate bingo for get getting to know because yeah. we do ask a lot of the similar questions and have some similar conversations yes yeah, so we're talking about feet a lot in that one. Oh. feet yeah remember yeah. Right? we talk about toes an awful lot toes, do we feet oh, toe Dima I do. Oh, okay are you it's doing cuticles. your own podcast we don't know about? i know we should. the toe we'll and feet toes podcast and toes. <laughs> the, the funko toe cast <laughs> the funko toe cast <laughs> 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 we're gonna get some weird emojis this week 
<laughs> All right, first up. Fun cast blast. Fun cast blast. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. God, that feels good. Spin them in. Spin them in. I forgot. I'm surprised I you remember the words. I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, the wheel has currently been uh, deployed like to a, a, a new <laughs> location. <laughs> I forgot it was I'm gone. still staring at it. Me it's too. not there. So I'll turn to Hillary. Oh, wait. Hold on. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> the, bucket version. The, the wheel flew in for yeah. this guest appearance. Hillary. Yes. From Lucas Bronner, a.k.a. Lukey Dookie Dookie. Lukey Dookie. <laughs> if you could re-experience watching a Marvel movie for the very first time in theaters, which one would you choose? Oh, that's a great question. Batman. And I think we'll Did make this Did you say Batman? Batman? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with um, the first Iron Man because it's one of my favorite movies and I never saw it in the theater. So Ooh. I think that that would be fun. That nice. would be good. They should re-release that on an anniversary so you can see that it That would again. be amazing. Would you watch the puppet version of it? There's a puppet version? There should be. Okay, well, I then I would definitely watch it if that existed. You should make one. I'll make one. How about All right, you, you guys got to I go. would say Thor Ragnarok because I never saw that in theaters. What? And then I saw it at my home and I fell asleep and I have not rewatched it since. No. Hey. You haven't finished Ashley. it? <laughs> no. Ashley. So I, know. I failed. Such a good one. I know. How did you not wake up to the music? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I fall, every time I sit down, I fall asleep. Just give me a minute here. Dame, are you sticking with Batman or would you like to rethink that answer? Uh, I'm thinking about Hellraiser. Maybe some uh, we need a poop. For Marvel? Marvel, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Closest we could get you would be Ghost Rider. Would that suffice? No, <laughs> I was thinking about Winnie the Pooh. How do you get hired here? I don't know. <laughs> Marvel is working on their first <laughs> horror film. <laughs> he was never on the payroll. <laughs> yeah, really. Who I is this? Why, wh- we, keep, we keep him around? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keep us no, on our toes. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of actually Marvel movies. Maybe like 80% of Marvel that I haven't seen it. So to me, you're watching them. And the ones you have Marvel. seen, you've seen them all in the theater. So. Yeah. I would go back to Captain America again. I really mm. dug the first Captain America movie. That's America's yep. finest butt. Uh-huh. What, what uh-huh. Fine apple Peach pie. Peach emoji. Yep. <laughs> Peach emoji. Peach pie. I, imagine him reading the screenplay. He's like, oh, yeah. the what? And then he's like, squat, 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 squat. squat, squat. squat. <laughs> right? He doubles down. I would. I mean, if I read that, I was like, I'd be like, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> you got some work to do. Like, I have a different perspective. I'd be like, uh, I hope they get a good CG guy on that. <laughs> wearing know. green screen undies. <laughs> yep, you're right. <laughs> you have like a costume, but only your butt is green. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Flick tracking stuff. <laughs> I hope they get a good CG guy. <laughs> you need a Lucasfilm to <laughs> CG. Or but. like like a, a like your suit is padded. You yeah. know it's padded? No. I yeah. bet you was real. Lumpy. Can I test it? I'll test it. We need to know. You're doing God's work. Mm-hmm. We need to know. We that. need to know. Lucas said his choice would be Endgame for another first time because it felt life-changing. Oh, Whoa. I, I rewatched deep. over the weekend. I don't disagree. All right, moving along. Let's give Ashley a question here. Let's back to the box. I got oh how perfect. This one is for Ashley or Cam, and since we have no Cam, it's perfect for Ashley. I'll Favorite pair of shoes? <gasps> asks Ooh. Aaron Garcia. It's like picking, picking your children. Or picking the dogs. Picking a dog. Or picking your nose. <laughs> um, I would say that my favorite <laughs> pair of shoes that I have are the uh, Jordan off white ones that I wore to the Funky Hundo. Mm-hmm. I don't wear them very often. I should wear them more. But. Special occasion. Yeah, they were just like a shoe that I got randomly through the app. Um, I was lucky enough to get. So, yeah, it's probably my favorite pair. Aaron Garcia said he loved the Globe Halo Collab Liberty Olive Green Skate Shoe, a.k.a. the Master Chiefs, and included a link. But it's very hard to click on that when I'm holding a piece of paper. That is true, yes. You're not trying hard enough. If I think about it. Click. There's so many Don't. good shoes out there. Pop up, pop up, it pop is up. amazing, honestly. Yes. And what a big thing it's become over the last few the years. The more people I can get into it, the better. Well, you're doing... <laughs> yeah, you, you got me. I already got way more shoes than <laughs> I ever thought I would. <laughs> That's right. All right, Dima. It's going to be nice when you see that. From Lauren, Ooh. a.k.a. Flippy Floppies. Yes. What animal would be cutest if scaled down to the size of a cat? <gasps> this is a good Ooh. question for him. Oh, a ferret. They're already the They're size smaller of a than a cat. Not I like feel like that. anything you'd be scaling it up, not down. Uh, Think and that would be horrifying. Like an elephante. Yeah, or a giraffe. Platypus. Platypus? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a whale. A hippo. Ooh, a whale would a be whale. cute. A whale. A whale. Like the, in your little, little tank. B- yeah. Yeah. And it'd be all angry. And be like, he's singing. Oh. Oh. I'm like, here's a hot dog, man. 
<laughs> a whale what would you name dogs? him? What would you name your whale? Uh, well, obviously you can go for Willie, but I'm thinking more like a Dr. Frederick. Okay. You know, he's a professor. Sophisticated. Yes. Are yeah. you going with Willie because of that Disney movie? Free Willie? <laughs> no, Willie the Whale. Do you guys uh, not know that? It was uh, my favorite cartoon as a kid. Don't it's about me. a whale that wants to become an opera singer. Interesting. Is this like Oswald days? Like when the yeah, cartoons it's like were legit? S- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was one of those... It was not quite a show and not a movie. I think it was like 50 uh, like minutes animated, long. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, I should have into that. I loved that. I watched it so many times. I'd like to see your mini whale uh, with a monocle and a top hat. Oh, yeah. That's what yeah. he wears. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. No. I'm going to find it. <laughs> Maybe I did see this. It seems kind of Pinocchio-esque, doesn't it? It looks like it's pinocchio Yeah. Like Jiminy and the whale, like combined. Maybe it actually was just Pinocchio. And yeah. <laughs> Hillary's whale. deep in the interwebs. I know. So he had, he had a few outfits. Oh, oh my gosh. That's oh, he's playing a banjo gorgeous. in that one. Yeah. Look at like that mustachio. Willie the whale. Willie the whale. Willie the oh, whale. yeah. So he's a clown, a sad clown at one point. Aw. Okay. It's whale life. Oh, that's, yeah. your that, that's whale life right there for you. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it because he'd always <laughs> sing that Mama Love Shortening Bread song. Oh. And it made me want shortbread. Short, shortbread? Oh, bread? yeah. Shortbread. I always want that. So it was just a 50 minute commercial for shortbread. For me, it was. Yeah, there you go. All right, let me let me pull up a number. For, uh, yeah, go for it. Question for you. For me? Yeah, get in there. I'll there are a lot in there. Is that sandwich in here? So cool, that's the sandwich in here. I leave snacks in the bottom of the so there's like glass box. Several chips up in there. Sully, do you remember episode 95, first of all? Uh, it has been a minute. Okay. That was on, like last November. Whew. On episode 95, that was before the Funky Hundo. Oh, yeah. On episode 95, you discussed which song that you have heard so many times that they are ruined for you. What song or songs do you turn up and sing alone with every time that you hear them? Oh, no matter what. Um, Saturday Night Fever, for sure. Staying Alive. Really? Ooh. Yeah, I love that song. It's Saving one lives. of the best songs ever. Um, uh, uh, Beastie uh, Boys, uh, Licensed to uh, Ill. Uh, Rob Stay Zombie, uh, More Human Than Human. Oh, More Human. Every everything. Linkin Park song. Every? Ever. Pretty much. Even their, all the remixes? Uh, yes, I have actually you, really dig the remixes as well. Have you heard the Russian remixes? Remix. I do not know if I have or not. It's just a bunch of Russian guys trying to mimic the Linkin Park. I'd have a hard time singing along. With their mouths. <laughs> well, oh, thankfully. I don't know how else you'd do that. <laughs> do, 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 doom, doom, <laughs> oh, they make doom, the sound the of the music? <laughs> I gotcha. It's the sound of music. It's the sound of music. Yeah. <laughs> well, Brendan's <laughs> trending says, for me, it's Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Ew. That's a good That's one. A good Anything one. by Linkin Park. Oh, no bow, way. Did he really? Bow, bow. Yep. Thunderbolts First two and Lightning. Albums. First two albums. Very, very frightening. All right. That was the Funcast Blast. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Sorry. Wow. I thought that was coming from her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at that. Dolby. All right. Time. <laughs> <laughs> you and the IMAX theater right now. Is that now. what you call oh, when, like, e- when we get on the either, th- either side of someone and we're just really weird? Yeah. It's just Dolby. Dope. That's fun though. Yeah, sandwich some sucker in between. <laughs> sandwich <laughs> some sucker. <laughs> Writing that down. <laughs> sandwich <laughs> some sucker. Did you wow. like lick the tip like... of the pen before well, you actually, wrote it? I did this. I don't know why. Like I was going to oh, change lick, the pages. Guys, you licked the finger. I thought you were then. wetting that pen. You know, yeah. just get off. <laughs> the goose feather. <laughs> Let me go to my quill. Your quill gets his monocle yeah. out. <laughs> He's a whale! He's a whale! <laughs> like Call it. me Willie. Shortening bread. All right, Fanatic of the Week. Uh, since we last uh, podcasted and talked about Fanatic of the Week, some things have changed. We're actually taking a new approach to Fanatic of the Week now, and we're asking you to share your story and your photos on social media using the hashtags Fanatic of the Week and my Funko story. And we're going to look there. Uh, I know a lot of people are excited about the opportunity to, to see others' submissions, which I think is good. Uh, some were like, oh, I like the form. It's more fair. I think this is actually a really good way to approach it. So you can share your photos and story as often as you'd like, and then other people can see them and comment. Then we'll reach out to you and ask more of an interview style with some questions suited for you and your collection. So I think we'll get some better stories out of it. Um, did you... Going to add something to it? Fanatic of the decade. Oh, are you making a, a new award? Yes. We just skipped a year and went right to decade. Yes. Wow. wow. So we're going to collect all of the fanatics we've been collecting over the years. So we'll put re- them in the warehouse. Reconvene in 2029. <laughs> yes. We're going to capture and, uh, them. <laughs> we're going to capture them. We're going to steal them. Put them in a warehouse. <laughs> we're give, them big some, net. give them some, uh, you know, little 
little something to, to hit with, like baseball bats and stuff. Wait, what is happening? What Are is you happening? turning this into Saul? Or what, what's happening here? Have you is seen this a mosh fight pit? club? <laughs> That's the first rule. <laughs> well, I like the idea of fanatic of the year. Like if you take all of the fanatics of the week that won... And pick the best to the yeah. best. Yes. We could do like a March Madness bracket system and <gasps> let people vote. Or Ooh. or we ask them to resubmit and talk about how things have changed since they won. Oh. There we go. Uh, where are they now? Oh, yeah, where are they now? Brainstorm on the fun cast. Look at I like that. It. Thank you for joining our meetings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is basically just a social meeting right and now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Our legal team just stepped in and asked that we do not promise that this actually uh, will happen. Yep. Fine. So there you go. Fine. Fine, Bob. Get out of here, legal. <laughs> There's no one named Bob here. Bob the legal. I'm surprised. I know. Is that right? There has to I be a Bob. Know. There has to be a Bob. There's here. a Robert. I'm, as soon as we get out of here, I'm going to start yelling Bob. And There's a answers. Robert, but he doesn't go by Bob. Not Ro- yet. Does he even That's work true. here anymore? Oh, I don't know. Does any does any young Robert go by Bob, or do you eventually get old enough to go by Bob? I think you have to Bobbert. go by Bobbert. Bobbert. Yeah, like what Bobbert. Ashley said. Oh, good old Bobbert. <laughs> you got to yeah. sink beer out of the jar. No offense to anyone named Bob or their parents, but who looked down at a baby and was like, That is a Bob. Bob. That's Bob. That's but the same. Th- I think I heard the same thing with like, with like, um, what, what, there's like a, a, like a Karen or not Karen, but there was like a, a, a woman's name where it's like Gretchen. There's like, like no little too. kid name. Cause it, it's like such yeah. a middle age woman name. Evelyn. Evelyn. That's my grandmother's name. I I've never see seen that. a child named Evelyn. Oh, I know a girl I named Evelyn. Do you? Old. I like the name. I mean, I don't have any kids, so I can't say like naming a human being would be incredibly difficult. I've named animals and that's super difficult. I don't get how like Christopher shortens to Chris. That makes perfect sense. But how does William become Bill and Robert become Bob? Why are we just throwing bees in there (laughs) randomly? Exactly. The bees on the track. Right. Mm. I have nothing to do with it. Life's questions. I mean, my name's Hillary. Should people call me Larry? Bill. Bill, okay. <laughs> I'm Larry. calling you Larry from now on. With one L. <laughs> With one L. Yes. Lauren. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Sorry. Uh, we did some Funcast Blast questions, but we do have some uh, longer form questions that we'll all answer, sent in by fans. Since SDCC, uh, and there's another story there eventually, but since SDCC, uh, we have received emails from Jed Wagman, Stephanie Tebbs, first-timer, Corwin, a.k.a. Apollo 17, Haven Hughes, Manuel, a.k.a. Night Bodega, David Ho, Pedro Tomas, Benjamin, Trevor, Vin Lee, Lucas Bronner, Lukey Dukey, Brandon Stranding, Josh Smith, Clint Crockett, Sean Logan, Afro Afro Freddy, Freddy. John Hilterbrand, Austin Keel, Joe Boris, Joey Toncray, a.k.a. Beef Squatch, <laughs> solid guy right there, and Stephen Tarpening, and many, many more, but that was all I had time to go through because uh, we were playing catch-up on those emails. Oh, yeah. Got a couple of solid questions. First one up, we'll go to, let's start with Dima. What this up, baby? One. From Haven Huth. If you could write a crossover for any two movies or TV shows or cross a TV show with a movie, which would you pick? I think everyone will support me on this and applaud and storm the studios because we need to have a crossover of Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Aliens. Nice. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. into that. You into that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll Charlie talk. Kelly's going to do some weird. Oh, beep. Yeah. I can hear him screaming <laughs> game over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> game over, man. Uh-huh. Oh, I just would like to see it because like, a group of people are getting put in such a um, high pressure situation. Yeah. And, there's and they're just always arguing. Happening. So and they're always yeah. arguing. Like they will never, they will never leave the ship. I can't <laughs> binge a lot of that show at once because it just kind of makes me like ah. Oh, I love arguing. it. I, I mean, I love it. But Two or three it's like episodes. About three, yeah. Oh yeah. no, I can. And then I need a break. And go all day, and, but then I start like <laughs> screaming at You're people. Like, <laughs> I <laughs> start to twitch. I, just, I get all into it. <laughs> I picked up on season two or three a couple months ago, and we've now made it to season seven. We're working our way through. You're in the prime. It's brilliant. I just imagine Frank covering himself in some kind of oil to go through all the shafts, (sighs) trying to find the alien just just falling right through. I just saw the one where he's in the couch (laughs) and then slides out completely naked. I I would love to see that. (laughs) Or whenever he like shaves his whole body and covers himself in Purell. Or the one where he's stuck in like the park and like the like little swirl. Oh yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And they're like, "How did you get in there? I don't know." I think, like I think I think like it's always sunny would make end. a great movie crossover with almost any like any genre. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they could do it all yeah, with cats. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the musical. Yes. <laughs> I just saw one where they did the the pageant 
for little girls, and there was the one boy in there, and they do the little opening number. Oh, God, brilliant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, same question to me from Haven Youth. I'm going to go, I love time travel anything, uh, so I want to see a Back to the Future Doctor Who crossover where Ooh. they somehow, like the Doctor gets in the DeLorean and Marty gets in the TARDIS. I think that will be fun. I've never seen the, uh, Doctor Who. Like, yeah, neither have I. You should. I should. It is brilliant. I, I uh, somebody some in line stuff. years ago <laughs> told me if you can watch the first four episodes of the Ninth Doctor, that's where yeah. they kind of started over. If you can get through four episodes, you'll fall in love. And absolutely true. Yeah, I, I was hooked. Was was uh, the first one of the original series with like mannequins or something? I was like, yeah, that's uh, the one with Eccleston. I was not into it. I was you got to like, watch yeah. several episodes. That one is tough to get through at first. Yeah. It was a, lot a lot of talking. A lot of talking. Yeah, a lot of talking. Doing. Yeah. All right, Hillary? This is not an American way. I think, and this isn't like super far-fetched, but I would really like to see uh, Riverdale and the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. (gasps) I think it's going to happen. I I hope (laughs) so. Because I feel like with Riverdale, I I really love the show, but I would love it more if it was like actually supernatural. Because it gets really close, and then it's like... Well, the towns are right next to each other. I know. And it, they really hint at it, but then it's like, oh, hallucinations, or oh, it's mm-hmm. a cult, and it's I like... Think, okay. I think it will eventually. It'll get there. But yeah. Like, season four of Riverdale, I feel like it could happen. That's this year. Is that the next wait. one? Maybe five. I can't wait. Five. But originally, I wrote down The Office and Evil Dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is a like 180. <laughs> That's a good one. Shop S, Mart. Mm-hmm. So there's been a debate online about... Uh, if you like Friends or Seinfeld better, yes, I would like to see them crossover because I think like they're all around the same age when their shows were on, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I just think it'd be interesting. I like Seinfeld a little better than Friends personally, but can you see Kramer and Joey both making an entrance through the door about the same time with Phoebe like in there? Oh and Lord, would Jerry you, just like <laughs> would you watch the Joey Kramer spinoff episode or oh, spinoff goodness. series? Joey, he got his own. He did. Yeah. It was what? terrible. It was called Lasted. Joey, right? It was called Joey, and he moved to Hollywood, and it was awful. Yeah, it was not. I bad. remember watching like what? How many seasons? Because I watched at least one Maybe season. One of or that. two. I think one or two. Yeah. Because yeah. I think Seinfeld went nine nine years, and I think well, did Friends go ten? Yes. Yeah. So I don't know. They're very similar in styling. Mm-hmm. But I think it'd be interesting. All right, next question. We'll start with Ashley on this one from John Hilterbrand, a.k.a. Funko Dad. Now that summer is in full swing, and actually this question's a little older. We're wrapping up summer. Yeah, it feels but it, like this it. is kind of like our back to the school episode, so I, I wanted to hit on this one. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to hear about what you all enjoyed over your summer as a kid. Ooh, um, I was fortunate enough that my mom didn't work during the summer, so... Uh, my brother and I and her would just kind of do whatever. So we she always had stuff planned for us, like going to movies, or we would go to Twins Lake and get Swimmer's Itch. Or, swimmer's oh, itch. Swimmer's Itch is awful. Or Lake Stevens, you get Swimmer's Itch there too. Um, but just hanging out and just kind of doing whatever. Yeah. Tima? Uh, for me, that would be summer camp, July 21st or July oh. 22nd. I'm very specific on that. What's the year? Uh, dun, dun, dun. Any year. Oh, okay. It's a celebration of uh, Ivan Kupala. So it's like uh, Ivan's, Ivan's Night, I think it's translated in, in English. But it's pretty much it's a pagan holiday. You get to like spray around with water and do like mischief pranks at the girls, wink, oh. wink. And at nighttime, you uh, have a huge bonfire and all the guys become demons and ladies become... Um, Mermaids. Now that sounds this like makes a lot of sense. And, and, you have yeah. like, <laughs> and you run around and you like doing mischief to the ladies who like have I like these huge. Vaguely torches. remember you talking about this before. Yeah. How old awesome. were you when this was going think, down? I mean, it happens every year in Russia. It's it's okay. a holiday, but, but it was like you were like middle school or something. Yeah, it's it's mostly for like youth to do it. Adults still kind of do it, but not to the full extent. Of What's it before. called? What's the official? I think it's, it's called Ivan Kupala. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's a very big one, and it's a lot of fire and a lot of flirtation and Ooh. water. Don't the don't the mermaid girls have to like pull you into the water? Or yeah, well, like the there's like a thing <laughs> like at night time you're not supposed to be in the water because the mermaids will drown you. Oh yeah. But that's so because the, they're playing the part of mermaids. You have like you know hundred mermaids with torches. Can't wait till I get my tail. A, from a big bonfire <laughs> and like you have demons running around trying to like you know 
How has this not been a movie? Yeah, no, there's actually this really great book that if you're into this kind of stuff, you should check it out. It's called The Wicked Deep. And I um, read it recently. I'm about to reread it again because I just really like it. And it's about a town where there's, and it it just totally takes off of that holiday. Mm -hmm. And they have that every year, but it's because people keep drowning in the, it's an island, a town, like I don't, I don't remember where it is, like maybe New York or some somewhere around there. And they have this whole festival of the mermaid where like during these hours you can't go in the water because yep. a mermaid will enter your body and then use your like a mermaid spirit will enter your body and use your body to drown boys in the town. Wow. But that's those wow. are my summers. That wow. Is not my aerial. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so all like summer siren. you waited for that yeah. one day. Oh, you waiting for that day because like everything builds up anticipation. In the morning, like you see the adults putting up this huge twenty foot uh, uh, Maple? Bonfire. Oh, bonfire. Oh. Yeah, so it's like kind of like a Burning Man esque. But yeah. then you have, have, you know, you see the girls start getting up, getting their flowers in the hair, and you like just running around with the dudes, like, okay, what are we going to do? You come up <laughs> with like little pranks here and there, and then you just carry yourself in dirt and run around nighttime. We all learned something new today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Is that why you like demons so much? It's got to be it. <laughs> I grew up on this stuff, so. Yeah. His name's not really Dima. He just adopted that after enough of these parties. Yeah. Mm. He's really Todd. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, from Minnesota. <laughs> Todd Levinchuk. <laughs> Todd Levinchuk. Uh, for me, my mom, I, I guess, adopted the idea early that if she just put us in enough things, she could wear us out so we would sleep, go to bed early. So she had us in swim classes, art classes, camps, uh, Bible study, you name it. We had something every day. So my fondest memories were the days where we didn't have any of that, and I could lay in front of the television and watch the monkeys, because MTV yeah. used to run marathons hey, on the, hey, monkeys. We're the monkeys, and during during the week watching Wheel of Fortune, Price is Right, anything. I mean, we just we could not wait for Plinko. Can it just be a nerd? Yeah. That's all we wanted to do, but no, it was Nick that was and Nate had the between. best reruns, though. I remember that as a totally, kid. yeah, it was amazing. I dream of Genie, Wonder Years, Brady Bunch, all that. Bewitched. Gilligan's Bewitched. Island, yep. I Gilligan's love Lucy. Island. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, my mom did the same thing. We were in a lot of activities, but it wasn't for the f- the full summer. It was usually for like a couple weeks of the summer. I'd have like art classes or um, there, like I would take classes at the community college because they had kids camp there. So we did that a lot. There were a lot of like fun science classes where you make your own slime and things like that that were really fun. I remember, I think I took decoupage like eight times in my life where it's like, paint this box black, now paste photos to it. <laughs> That's all you do. And then you put a clear coat on it. Or like ceramic paint. We yeah, them. totally. Like we did that we have a box that just is in need of decoupage right now. Oh, I could right decoupage now. that. I know how. Do it. It just takes lots of glue. Decoupage I just had a realization. The parents are liars. Why? Oh, yeah. Because, like, you know, when the parents tell to the kid, like, you know, stop watching TV, go study, you know, whatever. When those kids grow up, they become TV hosts and, like, yeah. some kind of creative people. Or, like, you know, stop playing video games, go study. But then the kids grow up and they become, like, video game programmers or EA is port, you know, champions, whatever. So I know the, kid, uh, the parents try to be like, okay, you should do, like, this, what everybody else is doing. But let the kid decide what they want but i think part of it too is being forced to do stuff you don't want to do because then you have so much fun doing the other stuff because what i was going to say is i from majority of the summer i'd be watching nickelodeon yeah and stick stickly was like the summer host and i was obsessed with nickelodeon and i absolutely loved watching all of those shows and i remember one time it was like noon and i'm watching nickelodeon and it's like some kind of crazy summer thing and it was so fun and my dad is like, why are you watching kids like play in the water and stuff when you could just go outside and have fun outside? And then he opens the door and he's like, oh, it's way too hot out there. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Back to stick stickly. Yeah. So it was like one of those things where um, you're like, see, yeah, like my parents, like, I think tried a few times. They were like, you need to go play outside. But in Oklahoma, it was too hot to play outside oh, in the yeah. summer. Yeah. Preach. <laughs> South Texas was too. Well, we I'm had the saying- in or out rule. There was no coming in and out. No, and then when it was nighttime, it was still kind of hot. <laughs> sticky. It was sticky. I'm just saying, like, you know, when the kids are growing up, everything changes around you. So what you yeah. thought was going to be successful for your kid turns out to be not so successful. Totally. Well, your parents so. are just trying to do the best thing for you. Yeah. They don't know what the future holds. I, I will Why apply not? my mom. There's no manual of parenting. Right? Yeah. yeah. I will apply my mom in that I did try a lot of different things, and I'm amazed in my life now how those come into play at different points. Yeah. It's like, hey, I was never really a painter, but I know just enough when it comes to artwork to jump into Illustrator and do something that yeah. looks good, you know? Yeah. So I think it all applies a little bit. 
All right, moving is along. Is it getting darker in here, or am it I stroking is. out? Okay. We all have been moving. Oh, it's behind the it's behind the mirror over there. Ooh, Ooh it got dark. Wait, did we? Did you get to answer this question, or did we start no. with you? No. Wait. The summer. Yeah, we started, no, we started with, with, you. with me. That's right. Okay. Like, Swimmers itch. Where am Swimmers I? itch. That's right. Oh, Where I need to write I? that down. So cool. far, I've got good CG guy, sandwich some sucker, Willie the whale, fire and flirtation, and swimmer itch. I like fire and flirtation. <laughs> All right, some general <laughs> topics for you. Catch you up on a little uh, what's going on in and around Funko. For you guys who have been waiting, it's been a long time. We've been talking about this for over a year. Gears what? Pop. What? The mobile game on Android and iOS lands oh, yeah. on Thursday, September, or no, August, August 22nd. 22nd. I wrote 9-22. This Thursday. This Thursday. So go ahead. If This should be out on Wednesday, That meaning you're going to get it tomorrow. So if you haven't, go ahead and pre-register for it, and then it should just automatically appear on your phone when it's ready to go, and you guys can jump in and start playing. I plan on playing, so hopefully we can play against each other. That'll be fun. That's the nicest thing, when you can pre-download stuff like oh, that. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's great. I did that with the uh, Dr. Mario. So mm-hmm. just one day I woke up and boom, there's yep. the icon for it. <laughs> But Just by the way, the I'm on level 200 of that one. 200? Oh, snaps. I've been playing a little How bit. How many levels are there? Uh, I don't know what the max Unknown? is at this point. Yeah, Whew. I'm You're sure there's like people four. that have blown me out of the water, but a few I've gotten stuck on. You're chasing the dragon man. <laughs> That's not what uh, that is. <laughs> speaking of games, we also have Funko Verse, which a handful of you who are lucky enough to go to Gen Con actually got hands on with or actually got a copy of. But for everyone, the uh, the main release will be in October. You can pre order now if you go to Funko.com slash Funko Verse. That's F U N K O V E R S E. I had to break my brain to spell that. <laughs> Uh, you can pre-order through Target, Walmart, GameStop, or Amazon. I believe it's the same price across all of them, so just whoever you prefer to order from so that you can jump on board in October. I've seen a lot of people saying, can't wait to play. It's great. Yeah, it's a good game. It's, it's a, a great game. game. Yeah. And as like a little plug for Gen Con, that's mm-hmm. a really interesting convention. And if you like board games, I think it's worth going to. It's just, it's set up totally different than any other convention I've been to. People come into the show floor, they buy a few games that they like, they find their friends, and then they just sit and play board games. All cool. night long. All day long and all, all night long. long. And all night long. Yeah. It's, it's neat, but it's crazy because you're paying money to be there, right? Yeah. So you're just paying for the space to play your games. Yeah. Also, well, there's also games that, like Funkoverse, that it's your first time to play it. True. And they have all the people <coughs> who give the uh, rules, explanations, so you, know, you have referees in there. A lot of people filming at those other tables um, that are playing games for the first time? Or really. is it really just about the fun of playing? It's about playing. Yeah, yeah there's there's not a lot of cameras over there. And if you walk, walk around with the cameras approach from this table, they're like, look at your camera really quick. Like, uh... <laughs> So yeah. they don't like to film stuff. Or Interesting. Hmm. I just I figured like people would go find a table and set up their own camera to record oh, no. their gameplay. No one's really doing that. It feels more like people are just about like the connections with people in real life. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, like I think they're on the boards, like um, board game boards, because they'll shout and they'll be like, hey, I'm like Kitty yeah. Cat 362. It's the first time we've met. It's like so, so nice to meet you. And... It was, it was cool to see. That's neat. And there's Check the, it out. there's not a whole lot of like exclusive stuff that's been sold to the shows. So the crowd is not hunt, it's not like their job to hunt for exclusives. It's just literally come in and just yeah. have fun. Take some of the pressure off. Yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. One day I'd like fun. to check that out. Uh, speaking of cons, New York Comic Con is early October this year. Uh, there may or may not be a live Funko Funcast at mm. that one. If there's going to be, we will reveal the date for you as soon as we uh, find out. So we'll let you know <laughs> soon. And then... Can you speak in riddles? Yes, yeah. I like speaking riddles. You Why know, do you keep winking? As soon as you <laughs> promise something... Both eyes. <laughs> yeah. And then you take Don't it back. It. Yeah. You're, you're the, the bad guy. That's so right. I'm not promising anything until we're... Just we're blame me. Ready. I'm the best. I can't guy. believe it's already time for New York. Oh. Oh. Beat salad, girl. Oh, heck yeah. Beat salad. I'm all about the beet salad. Oh, Brussels we're sprouts always at, on at the hotel. I don't know if I can do alert. Brussels sprouts anymore as an appetizer. They're a little... Too much? Oh, and gassy. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> they come, <laughs> they come <laughs> with a kick. They pills for that. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's true. I'd rather just load beat up salad. on the beets. You know what I'm looking forward to? Five napkins. Ooh, oh, that place yeah, was good. That up. Do that early so maybe we can loop back around one more time That's before we leave. That's what I'm saying. That is one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. It was that burger place we went to before karaoke. She had the frozen mule. I had the frozen mule. It was delicious. I don't remember. You had an impossible burger. Oh, I remember. We, there's a bar in the back and we went and had blue moons. We had to wait a while we waited to get in a while. there and it was yeah. worth yeah. it. And we, we sat went next to Allie gave us the recommendation. Yeah, and we went to karaoke after, remember? Oh, wait. Is that the one with the wooden... Yeah. 
decor? Yeah. Tables? Uh, yeah, it's yes. kind of like rustic I looking. Think, yeah. Yeah. It had a black and white tile floor, didn't it? It was yeah. choice. It was perfect. Well, maybe you've forgotten, so it'll be like a whole new experience oh, when we go yeah. back. Frozen M- mules. Black. Are we going? <laughs> black where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> where are you taking me? <laughs> but uh, part of New York Comic Con, of course, is going to be the exclusives as well. We might have one or two. Uh, and we will reveal those shortly. So don't ask. We're going to tell you when we're ready to tell you. We got to get them. We got to get that final mm-hmm. list, and we got to get them in hand before Things we can start working on it. it. So there you go. I have a Things meeting about, about that right after this. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That does not mean that we'll be revealing them it's this not, week. It's not anytime. But that means you know in the near future. <laughs> there you go. It's in the future, but not the near future. Fair enough. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, and then finally, the final. Uh, Funko Friday at Funko Field here in Everett is this Friday. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of Fs. It is. I missed uh, all of them. <laughs> Except we for the, the first one. We went to the first yes. one. Which was a packed house. Yeah. Book end like, it and go to this last one too? Gosh. Yes. I can't. I'm out of town. Oh, that's right. <laughs> out of town. I we'll keep take being a, out of town. We'll take a cardboard cut out of you. And Ooh, that'd be great. Put you in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be hilarious. There is a, a giveaway this Friday of that awesome enamel pin that has, is it Freddie and? And Webley. And Webley. Mm-hmm. That's a cool looking pin. It too. is a cool pin. I haven't actually seen one in the flesh to find one. In the enamel? In the enamel. enamel. flesh. In the enamel flesh. So that's coming up. If you want details, of course, you can go to uh, to their website for tickets. Yeah, you can still get tickets. Game time, all that good stuff. That'd be kind of cool to have a pin that has like wrapped around like silicon flesh and have a hair in it as well. That'd be cool. Sir, that would be Ew. disgusting. That sounds cool for you. I'm not, I want no part of that. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. spank you. Yeah, no, that's, that's all right. With a tooth in there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> There's just flesh in there? <laughs> Why okay. Not? Why not? <laughs> moving okay. on. Important announcement. Okay. <laughs> yeah, every time. <laughs> the new moving on. Yeah. Okay, oh, so yeah. We, we're playing a little catch up because it has been a while, but we've had uh, episode 114 and 115. We're getting to know segments. In 114, it was Veronica. Really good reception of Veronica being on. We promised yeah, to give away. Thank you guys for being nice to Veronica. Yeah, everybody was really yeah, cool. Everybody was super kind. I love Veronica. Yeah, she's great. We promised to give away of a Fun Days exclusive, and I'm going to toss in a social media. Freddie goes to Toys R Us Kid on Whoa. Twitter. Whoa. That's his name. Uh, that's a great name. Isn't it awesome? So uh, I will DM you for details uh, so we can ship that out to you. Then over on SoundCloud, I didn't even talk about it, but I like to keep this going. Yeah. I'm going to give somebody a social media Freddy Funko Pop and a Funcast t-shirt, and that somebody is Sabby. I thought you were going to say, that somebody is me. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time I won. I've commented a lot. Uh, Sabby, S-A-B-B-Y. I will DM you on SoundCloud so we can get your deets and ship your prize out. Then for episode 115, which was only a few days ago, but I didn't want to let this one slip and then forget about it, we had on Top Pops, Tristan, yeah. uh, already one of our most interacted with and listened to podcasts. Uh, people doing. love to hear Tristan's story. It was our top video on YouTube last week. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. I mean, not in a bad way. That's a great thing. Yeah. yeah. It just uh, it blew away our previous fun casts on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, our Twitter winner there will get a Golden Idol Freddy pin. Ooh. And a social media Freddy For reals? is uh, John, Freddy. who is Mr. Weasley's. Weasley's? Ooh. Cats and Owls. Weasley's. Weasley's. Is it Cats and Owls? Was it, oh, Mr. Weasley's. I'm yeah. going Weasley's. I like that, yeah. Uh, I'll DM you, John, and we'll get your deets. And then, again, I didn't want to leave SoundCloud out. Deets and beats. So we got another social media Freddy Funko Pop and a Funcast shirt for Daniel S. Lopez of Texas. Nice. Uh, Found that after I chose his name, mm-hmm. to be totally fair. Uh-huh. This week for episode 116, <laughs> we're back. We want to do another giveaway. I want to once again give away another one of those. It's very limited. The Golden Idol Freddy pin that was first revealed at Fun Days and then on the blog shortly after. Only three was made. No, that's not true. <laughs> I'm <laughs> more to than panic. three. You, yeah, somebody's going to soundbite that, and then, oh, it's going to be trouble. That is not true. It's true now. Golden Idol Freddy <laughs> Penn and a social media Freddy can be yours if you will just share a link to where you listen to the Funcast, tell people why they should listen, and include the hashtag Funko Funcast. That's F U N K. Oh, F U N K A S T, and include the emoji so we know you really listened. Dima, what should our emoji be this week? Oh, that's a good question. How about? Let me look. I want to look. Ooh, dang! Ooh, I know. This is a po- this is super power to have. How about? I've never been asked. I don't know. Would you like to defer to Ashley? <laughs> She's ready. Make it- I, Ashley's ready. Ashley, I want to go with the tooth. Tooth, tooth, <laughs> nice. Share the tooth. The tooth is out there. Just 
The tooth is out the there. The tooth is out there. <laughs> that sounds like a dentist joke. <laughs> sure. Totally. Like before you get braces. Like, yeah. It's a dentist's Dr. favorite X-Files, time. The dentist. 2.30. Dr. X. So that's Twitter. Do that on Twitter for a chance to win. Then over on SoundCloud, once again, going to give away a social media Freddy Funko Pop and a Funcast t-shirt. All you have to do is comment anywhere on SoundCloud while you're listening. Once, 100 times, whatever. Your call. Do it. Qu- question. Ooh. If I shave an eyebrow, will that increase my chances of winning? You will not have any increase in a chance of winning. No, nope. absolutely not. But not too tall. Can you ever can shave, he shave eyebrow? his eyebrow? Have I shaved an eyebrow? Uh, just one. No. I would like to. I need to have special occasion. Oh. Well, you can always trim some hair off that and then put it back. What about if we do a podcast in New York, will you shave one eyebrow? On uh, stage live. Stage or live. will you get lash extensions on one eye? Ooh. Like, like the like, feathery ones. Yeah. Like the cockroach orange? <laughs> yeah, like what just that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the you know, old four-finger wave. Will you get like super dramatic? Maybe. On one eye. We'll have Maybe. Kyle shave your eyebrow. You're going to feel Ooh. like your eyelids are boy, weighted boy. differently. <laughs> boy on boy. What is that, Hillary? Your eyelids will feel weighted differently. Yeah. I actually wouldn't mind trying to shave my eyebrow to see what's going to happen. Or just shave well, What if it doesn't grow you'll back? You'll be without hair on that side short. Well, I temporarily. Like, <laughs> I feel like it would take forever. Spoiler alert. It would just take yeah. forever to I've grow heard. back. And then you try to draw it in and it would look so weird. <laughs> Oof. You could uh, give. You could look always angry or always happy or always surprised. My mood. Boop. Yeah. Oh, you would get one Paste of the like on. sticky ones. Yes. <laughs> A piece of felt that's brown. I like it. Important <laughs> announcement. Mm-hmm. I like it. I have a game, and and in, in the purpose of time, interest of time, because we got to get you out of here for a meeting. I gotta go. I want to play the game. So, you guys may remember our very first game. Three, two, one, pop. Yeah, I, I love have that game. Brought it back. Heck yeah. What? I so, don't even remember. Quick refresher. I don't think you got <laughs> to play three, two, one, pop. So, here's how it'll go I'll give you an example. I'm going to give you three words, mm-hmm. then, if needed, two actors, then, mm-hmm. if needed, one year. Okay, okay. And at any time, you can stop me and you can try to guess what the movie is. I'm not feeling oh, particularly I smart I today. This, yeah. If you stop me during the three words and you get it right, you get three points. Oh, sh- during the two actors, oh, sh- two points. During the year, one point. If you get it wrong, you're out for that particular movie. Okay. You can come back in on the next one. So in order to, we don't have the buzzers out, okay. just just raise your hand or yell your name or something. Throw your shoe. The theme Scream. this week <laughs> will be school. Okay. So it either is Wah. about school, about skipping school, school, school about a school party. Are they uh, all movies? Ferris no, Bueller has to be in this. There is no uh, school of fish that I remember. That's only school school of thought. Ooh. So this one is not about <laughs> school. Schoolhouse rock. Schoolhouse rock. <laughs> this one is not about school. School is cool. But here's the example that I gave before. So three words. Okay. Hackers. Yes. Computers. Yes. Virus. Okay. Anybody have a guess based on this? Uh, God. Hackers. Silicon Valley. <laughs> Okay. Wait, is it a TV show or a movie? Movie. All oh, oh. whole movies. Oh. So, uh, so if you were to say your name and yes, guess. Yes, Dima. Dima, what was your guess? Above 85%. Uh, that is a different game. <laughs> I like, I like Wait, what am I that. guessing again? <laughs> what is the movie title? Oh, Hackers. Okay, you're wrong, so you're out this round. I also oh, said hold on, wait a minute. So. <laughs> but he's not going to say the minute. name of the movie in the in word. In the words now. Either one of y'all sure? have a guess? No. Okay, so then I would go on to say. Oh, the next. Oh, Swordfish. Swordfish. That is wrong. You're also out, oh. which means Sword- Ashley would be the only one that can guess. I'm the winner, so it's fine. But the none of these have anything to do with school. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne, Carrie Ann Moss. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. And then Are the year sure? of about 1999. Would have been The Matrix. Oh. oh. That was just our example. Okay. okay. All oh. the other ones are school related <laughs> oh, okay. films. <laughs> I think we failed that one. <laughs> yes. Okay. But you get the idea. Now. We're going to have right. to go back to school. Yes. Yes. We're going to have to go to summer school. So okay. I'm we should probably should anyways. Round one. Here are the three words. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Lunch lady. That's one word. O'Doyle. Repeat. Oh, 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 oh. Right here. I think you have an answer, sir. Ah, uh, Fer- Ferris Bueller's Day Off? No. O'Doyle, oh, like, and it's always sunny. <laughs> Would either of you like to guess or wait till the next round for two points? Well, can you say what all of the things were again? Lunch lady. <laughs> O'Doyle. Oh, repeat. I'm going to... Wait. You're going to skip it? Okay. I actors. Say oh, wait, wait. <laughs> like, um, a mile him and yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a lunch lady. Hillary, I dare you? Fast Times at Ridgemont High? That is wrong. Yeah. You're out. So, Ashley, it's up to you. Actors are Bradley Whitford and Adam Sandler. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, boo. I know now. I don't know. Can I guess again? Yeah. Uh, only if Ashley's going to waive her rights to this whole thing. Um, Your pinky is on the line. 
No. Just, just give me <laughs> an Adam Sandler movie, if you know any, and it might be right. Little Nicky. It is not right. <laughs> Close <It's>, though. <laughs> can I say it? You can now. Billy Madison. Billy Who Madison was the it? answer. Yeah, it's been a minute. So nobody gets round one. Now I remember because he screams so Oh, come on. Hillary, get it, get it together, Hillary. <laughs> okay, round Remember two. the training. Everybody's at zero. <laughs> Three words. Detention, rebellion, Vernon. Oh, 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 a purpose club. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah, yeah. So we got Dima on the board with three points. For some reason, I thought we were going in order. <laughs> All right, guys, think right. That was a good game. I won. You won round two. Sweet. Round three. Three words. Cop, elementary, Here. kindergarten cop. That is yeah. correct. <laughs> I really thought you would get that one. Yeah. All right, Hillary got three. All right, round four. Nine, hooky, parade. Wire. Oh. Hillary. <laughs> I, saw, I just said my name. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's correct. <laughs> I, I, I just went, I things, just I went, bite you. Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Hillary takes the lead, six mm. to three over Dima. She would. Mm. Round five. <laughs> Police, drugs. Twenty one Jump Street. That yeah. is nice. good one. Go Ashley. Ashley. Go Ashley. Go Ashley. Go I knew that was going to come go. up at some point. Police. Yep. All right. Round six. Texas. Pledge. Aerosmith. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Just to hear your breathing. Oh, 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 it's... Three. No, 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 no. One. I, I know the movie, but I forgot the name. Yeah. Right. I know it, but I keep thinking of the wrong thing. I'll it's... Go. It's the one that they watched in the office. Right? It's a rocket thing, right? I don't rocket. know. It's not Friday Isn't Night ben Lights. Affleck in it? it is not Friday Night Lights. Because that's a show, right? All right, our three words were Texas show. Pledge, Aerosmith. Our two actors are Cole Hauser and Mila Jovovich. Oh, I, yeah, it, I. It's a movie with. I, I get all. I get older every day, but they're still the same. You're, you've got the clothes. Yeah, I know, oh. but I forgot. Oh. Yes, yeah, see. Uh, <sighs> I was just talking about this the other day. I, I still don't. Now I have it's not no wet hot idea. American summer. It's, it's nope. uh, What do you call it? God. Oh my God! People are screaming Shame. right now. Ben for, Affleck is in it, though. Yeah, that's correct as well. Matthew McConaughey's in it. Heck yeah. Sh- What's on there? No the one's got the title. I forgot the movie. Well, the year's not going to help. It came out in 1993. Yeah, it's. Are right, y'all give up? Yeah. Yeah. Dazed and confused. Yay! Yay! Just, there we go. Dazed I'm really hurt. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what the hell I was the thinking. Girls keep staying the same. same age. Oh, gross. Gross. I want date. All right, round seven. The fun cast number. Who's guitar, in the lead? Who's in the lead right now? Uh, Hillary. All right. Yep. Guitar, battle, substitute. School of Rock. School of Rock. That is correct. That's Ashley cool. three. School, school of Rock. School of Rock. School of Rock. School of Rock. All right. Round eight. Texas. Oh, gosh. Football. This is the one I thought was the last one. Varsity Blues. <laughs> it is yes, Varsity Blues. Because I kept thinking Friday Night Lights, and I don't know. I aye, aye, aye. love that movie. It's Ashley now wins. Ashley at nine, Hillary at six, Dima at three. We have two more rounds. All right. I love high school movies, though. Me so. too. I want to do a marathon. Round Ooh. nine. Soccer. Oh, Hillary. It's super bad. <laughs> no. Oh, she's the man. She's the man. That is correct. Cool. Right. Good job. I love that movie. Co- it was a coin toss. I love that it movie. It was a coin. <laughs> Ooh, we got a tie going into our final Channing round. Channing Tatum puts a tampon in his nose in that movie. He does. <laughs> what a sex machine. I know, right? <laughs> round 10. Are you ladies ready? Yeah. Sorry. Teens. All right. Click. Bully. Hillary. Hillary. Mean Girls. Mean Girls is right. Ah, Hillary steals this Hillary one from Hillary fought Ashley. back and won. Wow. Damn. You didn't put not another teen movie I on thought, there? I thought it was going to be not another teen movie. I Faculty? love that movie. More like High School Musical, the movie. Damn yeah. things I hate about you. Good one. I had that one and then took She's it off the list. She's all that? Another good one. Well, there's only 10 choices. Okay. I guess. Sorry. Good answers all I was all be around. here all day long playing this game. That was fun. So our winner, Hillary. Woo! With 12. Well done. Well, done I'm gonna indeed. go and watch the movies. Yeah, can I have some of your points? All right, no, I got my notes all <laughs> out of whack here. Okay, continuing on, and mm-hmm. looks like Hillary, you've got just a couple minutes. Yes, I do. Actually, if you want to go now, okay, this is a good go stopping now. point. I think a good, good all right. spot. Well, my cool thing last week was. 
comedians in cars getting coffee. Oh, I love that. Because I just started watching it and I can't stop watching it. It's so good. It's so good. And it's like 22 minutes, so it's perfect. I know. They're so soothing. Good topics. They are. Yeah. And the cars on there. I know. It's like everything. old Porsches. So good. That green, like, 77 that he had. Oh, my gosh. Like, 9-11 was... Amazing. Hi. Give give us your sign-off, too. All right. Got to go with the Chanel. Oh, it feels weird. Ew, yeah. Right? Ew, ew. Take that out. All by yourself? <laughs> yeah. You can't right. take the mic with you. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. All right. Uh, Love that was the you. game. Bye. Bye. That's how we always say goodbye to each mm-hmm. other. All right, uh, Ashley. What yes, you got sir. for us? We have Dog announced plot. some really cool product. If you guys haven't seen, I'm sure you have because it's amazing. Haunted Mansion was announced in Dope. celebration of D-O- the 50th anniversary. They are beautiful. Yes, yes. everything. The mini yes. vinyls are gorgeous. Yes. The pops are gorgeous. Yes. The three pack chrome is gorgeous. Yes. The two shirts, shirts yes. are gorgeous. Ten inch. Oh, ten the inch. ten inch. Oh, I forgot about the ten inch. Ten inch. We got all oh, of that. In there. It's all good. The Some good ish right there. Good ish. Um, we also announced MTV Moon Person, and a lot of people gave us some flack about the name. You do some googling. Yeah, it's that's what MTV wants it to be called. Yep. That yeah. Was it's politically moon. correct. Yes, we didn't choose that. Yes, although like Moon Man is what they said when they gave them out at their MTV Awards. Different times. I know, but that was years Different ago, times. and now it's Moon Person. Yeah, so take it up with MTV. It's very cool because it's you know it's unique for a pop. We haven't really made anything like that. Um, we did announce the new NFL line to kick off the new season coming up here. Go Hawks. Um, and then also Mainline Winona Earp. So you Erpers that were you know giving us some flack at San Diego Comic Con. We on. have a uh, Mainline coming out with a chase. So she will be out later this fall. What whiskey made me do it? And that what her shirt Something says like on that. Yeah. yeah, I've I've never seen the show, but I watched season one. I actually enjoyed the show. I just didn't get back to it. The actress seemed very nice when she visited the. She booth. did. She is incredibly kind. Lovely woman. She looked very nice. Um, I don't. Yeah, that's it. So some cool stuff coming, and uh, look for New York Comic Con reveals coming soon. <gasps> but not. Not. But not too soon. Not, not too like soon. this week. The appropriate amount of soon. Yes, soon, but not Two too soon. Two gallons of soon. Mm-hmm. Another note to make there, and I know the audience that listens to this gets it, but when we say soon, we have to do that for a reason. People are always like, when? Tell us when. We did. It said, we said soon. Yeah, I mean, in our blog, we used to call out what month they, you know, the product would arrive, and now it's just soon because some retailers would get it, not all of them would, and it's yep. just easier to say it's coming soon. But generally, when we announce a product, it's out Within two to three months. Because God forbid you say March on March first, everyone. Where is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, there are unless it's like a specific days. embargoed date. Yes. Street date kind of thing. Um, it'd always be two to three months after. Like in the it. past when we had a Funko Force or a uh, Star Wars Force yes. Friday. Yeah. I mean, typically the big you know tentpole movies will have mm-hmm. embargoes. But can you talk about well, when you're doing reveals uh, for the for the exclusives for the cons, right? Yes. So you actually physically have to sit. And click post the post, right? Or um, we schedule scheduled? those out, yeah. Okay, but, schedule them out. Mm-hmm, yes. Um, Toy our, Fair, we had to sit and schedule each post. I had to do that. Yes. And that uh, was one of the most stressful days. How, how was that? <laughs> it was insane. So what, every we had 30 80 minutes? some. 80 some posts so every it was every 15. it was fif- every 15 minutes so you got up at what time uh 2 30 2 30 a.m mm-hmm. and then and you ended start at like 6 6 p.m every 15 minutes you gotta yep. post it make sure yep. everything's I, correct. Uh, there was a couple of uh, like there was one spot between like 10 and 10 30 where i could schedule the post out so i could shower right and that was it <laughs> <laughs> and then I get back to just yep. clicking a button <laughs> so, the, yeah. the dogs were appreciative of yeah. that sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's that's right there to me is crazy. Like the behind the scenes of how to make things happen, like you know, posting stuff, revealing things, like you know that kind of things. Very It'd be cool to, to do me. like a documentary day on Toy Fair the next year when someone has to do that. Mm-hmm. Like what all's going on behind? Yeah, the scenes. Yeah, I've done that two years in a row. So this year we'll have uh, Jesse helping out. But um, is there is there a reason why you have to do it manually and not? Uh, um, a lot of it is just for sensitivity reasons, mm-hmm. like in case something leaks or like I mean. A few times you guys probably know this. You post stuff, you know, when you're not supposed to, mm-hmm. or you know, it's easy, easy user error. So just to make sure it all. Goes. And we're always waiting for approvals up to the last second on some yeah, of this stuff. Yeah, sometimes we get approvals and then go like then as soon as we get the That's approvals. Right. So. 
Yep. And just a little, just wanted to lift the curtain a little bit yeah. behind the works. Lift that curtain. Lifting the yeah. curtain. Reveals are a lot of work. I don't think people realize how much, how many people are involved to, to reveal a product. Yeah, there's so much of approval processes, so mm-hmm. which you're allowed to say, how you License say it. And then the licensors email, yep. like, you did it wrong. You're like, ah! So yep. you're trying to figure it's, out. It's, back, it's a lot of back Because it's forth. not our, uh, you know, it's our IP, but it's also their IP. So it's, mm-hmm. you know. You know. And having to work with somebody who has different opinions on things. Yeah, and then, you know, time zone differences sometimes, and it's, sure. uh, it's a lot. And yeah. then studios like Disney can get busy. Yeah, Disney has some things, things going on. Going on. That's a good question. Thank you. All right, moving on to <laughs> videos. <gasps> we don't have it. Videos, you say. Videos. Thanks, Hillary. That's what you think Hillary <laughs> sounds like? I don't know what she does. Wait. You're close. You're, <laughs> you're mixing, uh, I don't want you're mixing your metaphors. Uh, we have put up tons of new video content. I feel like we're doing like 10 a week at this point. I don't know. At least. Oh, maybe a dozen. Uh, but we put up a lot of cool stuff over the last few days, including the Gears Pop Boomer Buddy, little uh, mm-hmm. little film, film, little vignette. That's little funny. Cinematic adventure. Close-up look at the Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary stuff that we <gasps> just gorgeous. talked about. There we are. The Pop College mascots. Mm-hmm. Also gorgeous. And more and more and more. So if you haven't already, be sure to go to youtube.com slash original Funko. Check out our videos. Subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a nice comment. Uh, and to incentivize you to do so, do it across all of our videos. But specifically, when episode 116 that you're listening to now goes up, leave a nice, friendly, positive comment below there, and you might win a prize. Like Velvet Woods, that's a person, oh. did for episode 115, uh, our, our uh, getting to know with Tristan. There'll be a surprise prize. Ooh. So uh, I'll reach out to you. Or actually, I no, like Velvet, surprises. we can't reach out to you. No DMs on YouTube. So if you're hearing this, email us, prizes at Funko.com, to claim your prize, and then we'll send you a surprise prize. Oh. Surprise prize. So all the more reason. One, you got to comment. Two, you got to come back and listen to see if you won. Yep. Win-win. S- simple, though. Win in Rome. All right, now it is time for... Cool stuff. Cool stuff. You we saw, saw last, last week. 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 And I'll have to go back and grab a dub from Hillary and put it in there. Uh, so it's a chance to just talk about some stuff we saw last week. It can be from anything. Books, music, videos, television, video games, whatever. So anything that we saw, uh, Hillary shared it was Comedians in Cars, cars with Getting Coffee. coffee. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's fantastic. Show. How about you? Um, I feel like it's been a minute since we've done this. Um, I just finished up Orange is the New Black. I really enjoyed that series years ago. Last season wasn't the best, yeah. but um, years ago I really enjoyed it. So I just it was nice to finish that up. I thought they did a pretty good job wrapping it up. Yeah. The only thing I would have liked to have seen is a fast forward like 10, 15 years from now. Because, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but I would have liked to have known a couple of stories. How? Yeah. Yeah. But... Yeah, it was a good show. You know, they say they're ending that, but there's no reason they couldn't do some sort of spinoff oh, that yeah. features another one of the characters. That, oh, yeah. They, they might totally still could do that. I feel like the universe. main cast is kind of over it, but yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's a good show. Well, uh, you guys are looking at the human who lives in the future because I've been playing with my VR headset oh. non stop. And let me tell you. It's amazing. Did you uh, have you punched any holes in your walls? I yet? have punched many holes. I have <laughs> climbed many things. I hit my feet on stuff, but because I don't follow the rules of my Oculus, because it tells me where I cannot go, and I say, uh, "You are not mm. my boss. You're not giving me the paychecks." Those so, are pretty intense. My brother has one of those, and I love it's it. It's pretty intense. I love it. So it makes uh, you sweat. That's for sure. Yeah, it's a workout. Getting a yeah. full workout. Yeah. I the usually, boxing is fun. I usually just go right now to a VR chat rooms and just hang out over there and like. 95% of hanging out in VR chat rooms is it's dumb because keep, people just come in and start screaming over there. Blah, blah. But the 5%, or if you have like the right group of people, things Legit. turn amazing. Huh. So in a VR the, chat room, is there there's a visual component to it, I take it? So do you have your own avatar? Yeah, I have an avatar, in? yeah. I'm dressed as a guy in a hoodie with a skull for the face, obviously. Yeah, Perfect obviously. That's what I would have pegged you. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, like sometimes, like, like I say, like, Five percent of the time, you can have very interesting topic discussions because people say in on the internet it's just you, and that there's no no reason to hide behind somebody's like this is who you are in your purest form. And when you meet the right people who don't have the in the mindset of a twelve year old, like you know, regular adults, they start talking about life and stuff. It's just amazing just to hear some of the stuff people say. Yeah. How long do you think it'll be before you're in one of these rooms and somebody goes, "Is that Dima from the Funko Funcast?" Oh, I. 
I do not want to do any of that. <laughs> 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 Please don't. Even my name is different than there. <laughs> there you go. Smart move. Smart yeah. move. Uh, for me, I think I'm going to have to go with another Netflix series. I finished Glow Season 3. Oh, dude, some writing on this That's what I'm going to start next, I think. It gets better every season. Yeah. I am just blown away by it. I love Mark Maron. I, I love the whole cast, all the ladies. Amazing. Uh, and I love how they've evolved, and they really just do a great job of character development and telling the story of each one of the ladies. Uh, there's so much more I want to know about every one of them, so I hope the series continues for a while. I, ha- I have a feeling it will. Mm-hmm. I mean, most of the women on the show you don't see in a lot of other stuff except Allison Brie. Mm. She's been in quite a few things, but the rest of them, I feel like that's their main thing right now. I did see that the blonde who plays Lady Liberty, I blank on her name, just signed on to be on a pretty big film. Okay. So oh, cool. this is leading to new She's things for actress. them. She's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's really fantastic. So anyway, I love the show. If you haven't watched it, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but definitely go back and watch it. And then don't forget, there are pops for uh, Allison Bree's Zoya. character. Zoya. the Destroyer. Yep. And, uh, and Lady Liberty. And there's the little action figure set yeah. that has them. Hopefully. I hope we get to make more pops. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We don't have control over that, we but I think not, if there's enough can bubble it up. demand, mm-hmm. maybe. I feel like, are those two retired already or vaulted? Uh, yeah, I believe so. They Probably. haven't been out in quite a while. Yeah. That was after season one, before yeah. season two. Mm-hmm. A year and a half ago, a year ago. Yeah, yeah at least. A ago. It's a good show. I'm excited to start that. Vaulted. That was cool stuff we saw last week, and that leads, just leaves one more thing, and that is... BDJ. BDJs, a.k.a. Bad Dad Jokes. Are you going to say bro. it with quickness? I will say it with quickness. Right. I'm uh, you. But first, I want to give credit to Jed Wagman, Stephanie Tebbs. The Why are they getting credit? David Ho. Benjamin no. and Joe Boris, who sent these in. Ah, they didn't, now we're talking. They didn't necessarily write them, but they found them. Gotcha. And they sent them Good in. Good job, guys. So, in double time, just for all those who you enjoy this. One. Here are bad dad two, jokes. Two, three. Hit it. Four, five. Oh, you're, wow. I thought you were six. counting oh, oh, the three, and then yeah. I was going to oh, go. All right, it's thought. a countdown. 32, 31, oh, gosh. 30. This plays well. 29, 28. And two, I'm going to go now. And one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you call a group of color whales playing musical instruments? An orchestra. Oh. Can February, March. No, but April, May. Mm. I asked a Frenchman if he played video games. He said, hui. Wow. <laughs> when like does a joke one. become a dad joke? When it becomes a parent. Nice. If you boil a funny bone, it becomes a laughing stock. That's humorous. <laughs> what do you call a hippie's wife? Mississippi. <laughs> Why did the smartphone need glasses? It lost all its contacts. Ah. Uh, there you go. Not a long list this week, but I still like some it. great ones. I really like that. If you boil a funny bone, it becomes a laughing stock. That's yeah. humorous. Somebody saw that on one I'm of those uh, sandwich boards outside of a bar and sent me the photo of it. Do you guys remember what, if you lose David your Hope. phone, all, you would lose all your contacts and oh, yeah. everything? Before the, before, cloud. before the clouds and everything? Yeah. Uh-huh. That was terrifying. Yeah. Your your life? I don't know that many people, so it's oh. fine. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my <laughs> Android phone died somewhere after SDCC before NYCC last year, and I was looking for one contact. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your phone became such a hunk of junk it did. last year. <laughs> and I could not find it. And then somebody finally said something about the cloud, and I remembered it was all backed up. Yeah, it's all backed up. There I'm it saying. Was. Yeah. I Angel is looking that text over it. comes up green. Yeah, I might not answer. <laughs> <laughs> I like to give Jax a bunch of crap for that because she is an Android. I'm, I'm like, back to blue now. Yeah, I'm all in. Then I went with the watch and the AirPods and That's the whole right, nine. You're all in. Yep. Yep. There's no getting out of this now. <laughs> Have you seen the Wild Hogs? How the guy got a tattoo of Apple? <laughs> no. Oh, that movie with John Travolta yeah. and uh, I forgot who else was in it. It's is that recent? No, that was no, like from it's... mid to late nineties. I saw oh. that movie. I think two times the movie theater. Huh. I I love that movie. Really, it's, it's so simple you and like just some, so weird. Some movies you would not think that you would like. You yeah, like it's, like Dirty Dancing. Oh my God, I love Dirty Dancing. <laughs> Nobody puts Dima in a Dirty corner. Dancing is purest romantic love story All ever right. told by a human being. And Ew. Patrick Swayze was amazing. Oh, both so of was Jennifer Grey. But yeah, they're, they're just. I feel R. like it's the last movie she did. Like ever. <laughs> well, she did that. Then she got the nose job yeah, afterwards, and, and, and then looked so drastically different. Killed her career. Yeah. She did a she TV was in show for Ferris a while. Bueller, right? She was a sister. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know who she's married to? Clark Gregg, who plays uh, Agent Coulson on, or Director Coulson, depending on the season, hmm. on Agents of Shield. Nice. All right. Didn't know that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Interesting well, little pro fun. tip there. little fun fact to end the fun cast. All right, yeah, I think we are done for the week. So thank you guys. It's good to be back. Uh, next week we should be doing another Getting to Know episode. Oh, yeah. And then 
Who we should be back with the whole team, hopefully. I don't yeah, yeah. I don't have that scheduled yet. I'll be working on that this okay. week. So if you know of someone at Funko that you would like to be in a Getting to Know episode, somebody that you've specifically seen and would like to hear from more, tell us in I your tweets. I, I think I know who. I think I got an idea. You got an idea? Yeah, I got an idea. Got an idea. I got a list. I, I have actually literally made a list. <laughs> we'll see. Little, okay. Tiny little black book? Uh, no, on, on Excel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> backed, up, backed up in the cloud. Yeah, you guys just think that's proof? Oh, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. the Rodriguez mm-hmm. and uh, Tarantino. Uh, Was that the one with the chainsaw leg? Yeah, machine, that's or yeah. the uh, machine gun leg. Machine gun, yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah, that's Planet Terror. That's, that's ah, proof, yeah. okay. They were all kind of like. Yeah, they're, this was a double feature. Death yeah. Proof was the Kurt Russell one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love him. He's I a just, great actor. So he good. is. Yeah. Across I think how he's many a generations? Little underrated, now? personally. Yeah. Totally. Mm-hmm. All right, time to get out of here. So y'all ready to sign off? Yes. In three, two. One. I'm on a journey. Oh, one more thing.